Wednesday reset. Here we are again. Don't know why I sang that. We're going to leave that to Alderwood Community Church today. Uh, they are leading us in worship today. And Alderwood Community Church is located in Linwood. They have both online and in-person service times right now. I also want to thank Northwest University for continuing to sponsor our Wednesday Reset every single Wednesday. So grateful for this opportunity. Please welcome Alderwood Community Church. Hey everyone, I'm Bryn at Alderwood. Thank you so much for joining us. We got Justin, Jack, and Ashley for our time of worship together. Hey, we're actually in our new Compassion Center building and it's a pretty cool uh, new opportunity for us at Alderwood. We do a food distribution to some of our neighbors every Tuesday night and that's kind of new to us here. We've had the building for about a year now. And so we kind of thought, why don't we do it in, in the building itself as we share that about you. And so we're doing a tiny desk type feel today. So we just hope that you would uh, enjoy this time of worship and join us as we sing together.
away my sin.
focus on the word comfort in our time together. In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, Paul says something really interesting in verses 3 and 4. He says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, in every single trouble that we face. God has comforted us. He might be walking through something right now. You might be thinking, I'm not feeling any comfort from God right now, Jack. And I don't want to dismiss your pain. I don't want to dismiss what you're going through. But I want to just remind you. I think it's something we all have to remind ourselves of the fact that God ultimately comforted us because he sent his son, Jesus Christ, who was once rich, Paul says, who became poor for your sake and my sake so that we through him could become rich, so that we can have comfort, so that we can have peace. He made himself uncomfortable. The word became flesh, stepped into the mess, stepped into the mud of humanity. And not just that, he didn't just live a hard life. He was rejected and he was killed for your sin and my sin. And because of that, Paul says, that we are now the righteousness of God, that we can experience the ultimate comfort, that even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we know that the God of all comfort is there with us. He understands, he has, the, he has empathy, and he actually has walked in the shoes of what it is that you are currently struggling in. That's such good news for us. But Paul doesn't just stop there. Yes, God comforts us. We need to ask God to comfort us. We need to bring our concerns to him. Cast our cares before him, Peter says, because he cares. But don't just stop there. Because verse 4 tells us he comforts us in our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves received from God. Have you ever been in a fast food line like at Starbucks? And you have like the pay it forward thing and the person in front of you, they paid for your meal and then you kind of feel guilty. Like, okay, I guess I gotta pay for the person behind me. The barista's <laughs> judging you in that moment. And, but here's the thing is that God's paid it forward in terms of comfort. He started the train so that you then can show that same comfort to somebody behind you. And so that they can experience that and say, wow, God did that for me. Okay, I'm going to comfort somebody behind me. And that is what God has called us to. The Christian life is not one that we should be seeking comfort just for ourselves, but asking God, I need your comfort so that I can comfort somebody else. That's the gospel. So that we can show the love of God and display it in a world that desperately needs it. Just go online. Just go, I mean, you're on Facebook right now. Just scroll around and see. There's plenty of people that are hurting. So plenty of people that are struggling right now. And they need this comfort church let's be the church let's show and display the love of god the father and jesus christ and be countercultural. and so we do this to the power of jesus christ these last few songs that we sing are celebrating the fact that because of what jesus has done for us we can live differently so i invite you wherever you are just to sing along with us as we give glory to the god of all comfort jesus christ
joining us. We hope that encouraged and blessed you as much as we've had just so much fun putting it together this morning. And we just hope that if you have uh, are looking for a community to join, we're meeting in person on Sundays. Uh, our three service times, we start at 8 a.m., 9.30, and 11. We also have kid care. We're doing the best we can to just social distance, provide masks, all the things to keep our people safe, to keep you safe. So if you're looking to join us, we're also online. So you can find us there. Anything else that I'm missing, guys? Well, thank you so much for joining us. We hope you had a good time.